All right. Our next caller is Ariel from Oklahoma. Ariel, how can we help you? Hi, how's it going? Good. Um, so a little bit about me. I'm 18 and I'm actually a rock climber, but um, right now I'm at school. So during the week, I kind of just focus on lifting, strength. Um, and my question is actually in regards to a standing ab wheel rollout. Um, a little bit of context. I do a lot of work on the bar and rings for abs. I can do like a front lever. I do a lot of L-sits, toes to bar but I've never been able to do a full standing um, to the ground ab wheel rollout. So I guess my question is, do you have any specific programming or advice for um, accomplishing that? Um, and what are your thoughts? Yeah. Uh, first off, that is a very yeah, hard exercise. Yeah, yeah. Pretty sure You're that you know who else Sal can't, can't do that right I was now. just going to say, you know who else can't do a standing ab wheel? <laughs> yeah, that's uh, legit. So that's a really, really hard exercise. Okay. Do you, have you identified uh, where the breakdown is when you when you tr go for it. Do you feel the breakdown in your core and low back? Does it feel like your arms and shoulders give out? Good C question. C do you have any idea um, where you feel it? Yeah, I I think really it's specifically like on that last little bit, locking it out, getting the full extension overhead. Um, so I guess probably shoulders and a little bit like kind of the thoracic region yeah mm. yeah so that's okay so someone like you and i saw i look you know you wrote a question and you, you you talk about a lot of the exercises your core is probably pretty strong it's the breakdown oftentimes with people like you especially females is actually the 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 shoulder stability and strength and not so much the core at least someone like yourself who trains their core so much so here's a couple things you could do one i would recommend uh heavy dumbbell pullovers mm -hmm which will help that type of strength and focus on the range of motion and build your strength up on that exercise and treat it like a strength exercise, like you would do squats or deadlifts or overhead presses. So that'll help you there. The second thing is when you do your standing ab wheel rollout to practice them, you can start by just doing a negative. In other words, get into position and slowly roll yourself out and then lay down on the floor. And that's it. That's a rep. And the goal is to, sl to slow that down each time to the point where you can make it super controlled. Then from there, you can slowly start to attempt coming back up. But get that negative yeah. portion under control first. Have you done um, Supermans with the uh, rings? Um. Uh a little bit, not really. I uh, are you recommend no. are you recommending the pullover? That yeah. So that's what the pullovers Superman, with suspension with, trainer. With suspension trainer or the rings, yeah. It's, yeah. And in terms of too, like anchor push ups and things like that. Like what Sal's sort of alluding to is just like the the upper body strength portion of it because your abs or your core in general is going to be pretty strong in terms of like what you're describing with your exercises. But I think developing. Uh, you know, that strength there, especially with the instability with the rings or the, the suspension trainer uh, and, and to be able to then uh, anchor, you know, one side and reach with the other arm and then both arms together and then also like real deep, even flies and, and, and get into that will help a lot. Are you, Ariel, are you familiar with what Justin's trying to explain the Superman? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like reaching overhead, kind of like a Y raise, but lower to the ground. No, yeah, like, like, it's, it's the opposite. Direct. Opposite. So, so I'm I'm okay. like a, a doing a push up in a sense. Like okay, and okay. you can why this is why what Justin is saying is this is the exercise to get you to do what you want to do because it is the it's the perfect regression to what you're trying to do because because sure. yeah. you have to have core strength and stability and what's beautiful about it is however far you walk, how far you walk away from the anchor point, the yes. easier it'll be. So like with a client like you- progressively increase That's right. Intensity. I would start, like Justin's saying, like you might not be able to start from the push-up position yet. That's going to be the most challenging position. I would have you like- let's in, Walk forward in, or yeah, away in, from Yeah, envision the... the suspension trainer above your head and it's the ropes are hanging down in front of you, rings or a suspension trainer. You grab hold of them in front of you. You take about two steps forward and then you you simulate the exact same movement you do on the ab roller where you roll, let your body kind of fall forward and your arms come up and you resist with your core and your lats and then you pull yourself back forward. And you do that with a couple steps out. You get good at it. Then you back up a little bit. Then you mm -hmm. back up a little bit okay. to eventually get- So you're just- 
Yeah. yeah. Adjusting the lever. Exactly. Uh, you're right. adjusting the lever and the difficulty of it. And then eventually you get to the position that Justin's talking about where you're in the full right. push-up you're, you're directly underneath the anchor yeah. point. That's right. You're directly underneath. And then you let your arms come forward and then you're opening up in that front. But that, that will be the – that's like the – once you reach there, you're going to be able to do it with the ab roller. So you're going to have to start – by stepping forward a little bit and, and doing that. You do that movement, and then I have one more I would add to this um, because it, uh, like, that, like an isometric type of movement it would be overhead carries with kettlebells or if you don't have mm -hmm. kettlebells, then dumbbell will work. But uh, just strengthening your, your entire body in that position and do carries – that with what Justin is saying, uh, you will yeah. accomplish Increase this. Increase your end range yeah. strength. You know what? Um, do you have MAP suspension? Uh, no, I don't. Yeah, that would be a great program yes. yeah, we'll for someone like you. Rock climber, the kind of strength you're looking for is kind of full body, stable. It's got the exercises that we're talking about. I think there'll be a perfect program for someone like you to follow. So we'll send that over to you. Okay. Thanks. All right. Thanks, Ariel. And thanks for listening to the show. Yeah, thank you guys so much. I really look up to uh, you guys and all the information you put out. So Thank, thank you. you. Awesome. Thank Keep you. Keep kicking ass. Yeah, it's cool to have uh, people that age uh, listening to our podcast. Yeah. You know, that's really yeah, good because she's guys. seeking out good <laughs> well, information. We were just talking off. We were joking <laughs> off air that I said it's amazing that anybody under the age of 20 listens to us with our dad jokes and shit. Doug, could you pull up? I don't know if you can do this in the time. Um, I'm trying to remember if we did build those in. I don't know if we built those in suspension trainer or not. Superman's? Yeah. Yeah, they're in yeah, there. They're in there. They're in there. They're yes. in there. It's just um yeah, it may be more regressed, like you said, like it's out a little further out oh, good. Of, of the anchor point. But yeah, to, to to your point is, you know, that's the beauty of the suspension trainers. You can really manage the intensity just yeah. by it's, that walking. is the exact I would we should do a YouTube video on this. So maybe if you can remember maybe a Friday fitness tip or something, you could do this to show yeah, I'll the, do a Friday yeah. fitness tip. Show the regression to it and then how to progress progress all the way to that because that it's is a great a exercise great movement yeah. that is exact that for what she's trying to accomplish yeah. i mean how cool is it you got an 18 year old you know kid who's like hey i want to do this yeah. <laughs> this really yeah, hard really, yeah. do this really like extremely hard exercise yeah, i don't think it's i cool. can do that right super now. That, super 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 i love rad. that mentality yeah.